families that are very satisfied. Why are they here? She said three reasons. We treat the parents as partners. Two, we have a wonderful transition program back to the regular school. And three, we have an emphasis on written language as well as oral language. So we re-engineered what the, quote, selling process was. This is what happened. She would give the tour of the family, and she would sit the family down on a, and put a piece of paper in front of them, and she would share this. Let me just share with you, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, ultimately, the families that bring their kids here wrestle with one or more of the following three concerns. Are they going to be able to be a partner in their kids' educational process? Is written language going to be as emphasized as oral? And is, or is there going to be a transition program back to the regular school? Let me stop. Does that make any sense? See, what happened was they would pick up the pencil and check the boxes in front of them. And she would look at her and say, you get it. Now, her next step was not to say, let me tell you why you had a bias. It's active listening. Tell me what you're dealing with. Now, after 10 minutes, this is what she says. Let me see if I got this right. You've been to three schools. They, in their, they pay lip service the fact of transition programs back to the regular school, but you haven't seen that. That's a frust sense of frustration. It's very important to you that you assimilate your child in the, the quote, normal environment. You haven't seen that. Uh, you're also concerned about the emphasis of written language, and you're not happy with that as well. Uh, is that a fair summary of what we've talked about? Now, at that point in time, if she's able to pull that information out, how much value does she have in the mind of that prospective parent on a 1 to 10? Give me a number. Shout out a number. 10. How much does the parent know about what she can do for her? Nothing. 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 See, the black in tackle in here is if I can engage someone, listen and understand, and they know I get it. Everybody in life wants to be got, and nobody wants to be had, all right? We all want to be got. If we can convey, and I'll teach you how to do this, if we can convey it so they're going to say, you know, you get it, you get me, you get what I'm dealing with. Uh, you know that I've been up at 3 in the morning concerned about hiring the right person because if I don't, they could compromise their bottom line in two years. See where I'm going here? If, you know, we'll talk about how to jumpstart that. But if that prospective employer says, you know, you get it. You're not pitching me with this and this and this, blah, 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 blah. By the way, anybody as an employer ever hear the blah, blah, blah stuff all the time? Yeah. Is that good or bad for us? It's great. Outer core opportunity. If everybody else is the blah, 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 if we can engage in the perception, I get it. I'm listening to understand. I know what your concern is in hiring the right person. We build value. We become a trusted resource. We differentiate. And that prospective employer is much more favorably predisposed to what? The compelling reasons why he or she ought to own us. We'll walk you through the blocking and tackling in just a bit. OK, is there broader ap applicability than professional services? Uh, we say yes. Here's my point. You are the product. Excuse me. And uh, your prospective employer is your customer. Well, that's it. Now we'll talk about how we apply it. So what's the core? What's the typical experience expected by a prospective employer? Uh, work history, education, interview process, follow-up. What do they expect they're going to get from the typical provider? We have to determine that. Once we determine the core, then we're in a position to build the outer core, providing more valuable, superior experience at crucial, highly valued touch points. So where's their opportunity to do that? How about more experience? How many people have said, well, you know what? Uh, just to be a candidate, everybody's got experience. It's not a differentiator to have a lot of experience. Anybody found that to be true? So I would submit to you, we don't be getting the outer core with experience. How about a education? Well, everybody's pedigree, just 